Hello everybody, I am Dr. Jethi Mitra. So today we are going to learn about explosives. Okay? So first of all, you will know what is an explosive. Okay? What is an explosive and thereafter the definition of explosive and oxygen balance of an explosive. As we all know, explosives, we call it as Viscodal. Viscodal in Hindi. We all are familiar with the word explosives because RDX, dynamite, we all learn about it before that in society. So, definition. Now, to define explosive, we should know first of all, explosive is a small molecule. Okay? This is an explosive. It is a small molecule or chemical substance or any substance. Okay? Which explodes means when comes under the influence of any thermal or mechanical shock. Okay? Small molecule or any substance which comes under the influence of any thermal or mechanical shock. Then it undergoes rapid chemical transformation. Exothermic reaction is taking place and we call it as rapid chemical transformation and large amount of heat is released. So it turns into the products. And these products are of huge volume. Okay? Greatly Increased volume with enormous amount of heat energy. Heat energy in this heat energy. Okay, now from here we can define explosive. It is a shock sensitive molecule. Shock sensitive molecule. So explosive is a small molecule or chemical substance which is shock sensitive and which comes under the influence of any thermal or mechanical shock. Thermal means heat and mechanical means friction and anything else. Then it undergoes rapid chemical transformation. Okay? Rapid chemical transformation to give greatly increased volume products. Products of greatly increased volume with release of enormous amount of heat energy. So this is the definition of an explosive. Now, how we can say that explosive has certain characteristics. Okay? Explosive has certain characteristics. First characteristic is that it must have, it must have at least one B chemical bond. At least one B chemical bond. For example, we can say that nitrogen nitrogen bond or nitrogen oxygen bond or oxygen chlorine bond. All these atoms have High electronegativity. So, electronegativity difference is either zero or it is very minimum. So, when electronegativity difference is very minimum and zero, that means the chemical bond is very weak. Okay? So, first characteristic that is that it must have at least one weak chemical bond. And the second one, it must be. Chemically stable at normal conditions. Normal conditions. Okay? At normal conditions, it must be chemically stable. That means it must not be hygroscopic. That means non hygroscopic and non
पॉजिटिव ऑक्सीजन बैलेंस इट मस्ट हैव अ पॉजिटिव ऑक्सीजन बैलेंस नाउ वी शुड नो व्हाट इज द ऑक्सीजन बैलेंस ऑफ एन एक्सक्लूसिव ओके व्हाट इज द ऑक्सीजन बैलेंस ऑफ एन एक्सक्लूसिव तो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी डिफाइन द ऑक्सीजन बैलेंस एंड देयर आफ्टर वी विल डिराइव द ऑक्सीजन बैलेंस ऑफ एन एक्सक्लूसिव ओके एज यू ऑल नो ऑक्सीजन बैलेंस मींस ऑक्सीजन ऑक्सीजन बैलेंस मींस द मेजर ऑफ द ऑक्सीजन कंटेन्ड इन द एक्सक्लूसिव मॉलिक्यूल व्हिच इज रिक्वायर्ड टू कन्वर्ट द कार्बन प्रेजेंट इन द मॉलिक्यूल टू कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड एंड हाइड्रोजन प्रेजेंट इन द मॉलिक्यूल टू एच टू ओके कार्बन टू कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड एंड हाइड्रोजन टू It is the measure of the oxygen contained in the explosive molecule, which is required to convert the carbon present in the explosive molecule into carbon dioxide and hydrogen into H2. Now, if we have an explosive, for example, C X H Y O Z, okay, then it will explode, okay, into the molecules of X. CO2 plus Y by 2 H2O plus Z minus X plus Y by 2 O2. Okay? What we are saying? This is an explosive molecule. This is an explosive molecule. Divided in this way. 